Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon! In between episodes, I caught an Ekans! Uh, which I promptly made evolve into a uh, Arbok. I... let's see... I got Arbok, leveled up to get Parasect, leveled up to get Graveler, leveled up to get Golbat, I used two, the two Moonstones we had on Nidorina and Nidorino to get Nido Queen and Nido King, and I also leveled up everyone to 25 in the party. I'm actually taking Pidgeotto now just because I need to level him up either way up to level 36 uh, for him to evolve, so I might as well just keep him around. Uh, I still have, obviously, War Turtle, Pikachu, and Butterfree, just because I will probably be replacing them soon. Uh, most of them, anyways. So if you don't like this team, don't worry, it's not going to be the team for much longer. Uh, also, I put all my items, well, not all of them, uh, like all the TMs and stuff I'm not going to use, I put them in the box. Uh, so right now all I have is just a Pokeball, a couple rare candies that I'll probably use eventually. Uh, I don't find them that necessary. Um, but, you know, the escape rope just in case, the ether just in case. Uh, I'll have to buy more Pokeballs here soon because after Nugget Bridge is another patch of grass with a new Pokemon. Or maybe two. I think there might be two new Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's get on with it because, yeah, we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> So yeah, this is the uh, this is the Nugget. I, I think it's called Nugget Bridge. I still haven't like looked it up, but this guy will tell us here in just a second. Yeah, Nugget Bridge. There's five trainers. If you beat all of them, you get a fabulous prize. So there we go. Um, there's actually six trainers that you have to beat, I believe, to, in order to get the prize. Uh, but we'll get to that. <laughs> and like I said last episode, this is this episode is going to be very heavy on. Uh, trainer battles, just because there's so many uh, in the upcoming route and this bridge in general. But that's okay, because none of them are too difficult. <clears throat> and uh, I might, I might just put Pidgeotto out in front so that he can get the most experience. That seems like a good idea. And. Pidgeotto's pretty good. Uh, the Pidgey line in general is pretty decent. Uh, flying Pokemon are pretty decent. So, <laughs> or, so I think I'm just gonna do that real quick and continue on. The next one, uh, like 
like you said, there's five, but then there's like a leader at the end. Um, there's nothing too difficult. The first guy obviously just had Caterpie and Weedle. This one has like Jigglypuff or something. Something lasses have Pidgeys, Jigglypuffs, Clefairies. Might just have two Pidgeys for all I know. I don't remember. But no match for us. I mean, this is. They might have expected you to go. Oh, a Nidoran. Yeah, that makes sense. They might have expected you to go up this way and to Bill's house before taking on the gym, but I I don't see why that would be necessary, honestly. Um, cause well, because of the way I play mostly, uh, I level grind. So I guess if you don't level grind, this is probably what they want you to do, cause there's a lot of trainer battles up here, so there is a lot of experience to be had. So I suppose that makes sense, but I don't care about any of that. Wanted to get our badge. Gotta catch them all- or wait, no, that has nothing to do with badges. Anyways, here is a youngster. They usually don't have anything too terribly hard either. In fact, this whole game, I, if I haven't mentioned, is just easy. Uh, I mean, if you play it a different way than I play without level grinding, it can be kind of tough, definitely. Uh, I mean, especially the gym leaders, they usually ramp up their difficulty pretty hard. But, I mean, if you have the right Pokemon, none of them are difficult. Like, the next gym leader, I believe, is an electric type, so... I mean, if you have just like a Pikachu, it's not going to be a great match for you, or if you have like Wartortle, or any water Pokemon in general, it's not going to be a great match for you. But we'll we'll cross that road when we get there. That's still quite a ways away. I mean, we just got our second ba badge, badge. <laughs> so this is the last. I believe this one has the exact same thing as the last last, a Pidgey and a Nidoran. If I, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I, I generally am wrong, so that wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, we're flying through this Nugget Bridge. I mean, it's obviously going to take us a while to get through this, and I'm sorry about that. I mean, it's not that fun, especially since I'm not really uh, acknowledging what the trainers are saying or what what's going on here at all. But basically, all these guys just say you're like, I'm number one, I'm number two, I'm number three. Oh darn, I can't believe I lost. So, and this is the last one. Yeah, see, so I'm number five. So they don't really say anything interesting, and in fact, most trainers don't say anything interesting. So that's, that's the one thing I don't really care about from this game, is that it's a lot of just repetitive nonsense, but... At the same time, I really do enjoy it. Um, I'm I'm probably one of the few people that likes level grinding. I mean, it's not necessary in this game, but I enjoy doing it. That's why I do it. So, I mean, <laughs> what better way to level grind than to fight repetitive battles, honestly. So yeah, that guy just hit a Mankey. Pretty easy. And like I said, this is the sixth guy, or the uh, the leader, as it were, of Nugget Bridge. I, I suppose he does give you the prize before he battles you, but you have no choice. You do have to battle. He doesn't even let you answer his question of joining. So, and then he goes all gangster on us and tells us he'll make us an offer we can't refuse. So, that's how that goes. <laughs> and of course, he's not tough. Like I said, it probably, it probably intends for you to come this way first. So, these Pokemon are far easier than the Pokemon we saw in Cerulean Gym. And that is unfortunate. Rap is, is annoying. 
especially in this generation or this game in general it can just go on forever and if if the Pokemon happens to be faster than you then it'll as soon as it ends it could just use it again and you'll just be in a constant loop and the fact that it doesn't usually do a whole lot of damage just means you're just sitting there getting attacked forever <laughs> and it's it's pretty obnoxious but we got through it and of course Zubat has nothing against us so that was the rocket grunt and uh... yeah that was all of nugget bridge so that was pretty easy this is the grass i was referring to oh my goodness that guy wasn't even looking at us well i guess we're gonna be fighting this guy too <laughs> but that was the grass that i was talking about there's a couple new pokemon uh, there's abra and maybe like oddish or bellsprout I, I i'm not sure exactly i know there's probably two though there might be a third i, I don't know i'll look into it obviously when i when I get there, I mean, generally I just walk back and forth for, you know, an hour. <laughs> and if, if I don't see anything new, I just assume that there's nothing, nothing to be had, aside from what's there. But anyways, that was a whole junior trainer that I didn't even realize we fought. Um, I don't know what he had. I didn't look. I was I wasn't even paying attention. That's how bad I am with this game. But yeah, there's uh, there's nothing down there, I believe. So I probably won't show it off. But that is where we will be capturing our next Pokemon. There's an item up here, which is TM, which I don't know what it is. I don't generally use TMs at all, even if they're really good, just because I mean it's usually not necessary. Thunder Wave. Yeah, I mean that's. That's cool and all, but no thanks. Uh, do you, you you generally l learn with your Pokemon the move set that you need in order to be effective against anything. Uh, I suppose you could use this grass too. It, I think it's the same grass as the one we just passed. Uh, it might not be actually, but I don't I don't know about that. And then this is the next area where I said there's like ten more trainers, and m most of them are mandatory, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll, we'll take on a couple of them, but we'll probably stop midway through just because it's already been 11 minutes And I know I have that little montage of me capturing and leveling up the Pokemon at the beginning So I'm gonna try not to make these episodes too terribly long uh, But I believe this is our first instance of Machop. Uh, he's a fighting Pokemon Nothing too special. I mean They're generally strength based uh, See, a critical hit only did like 10 damage or whatever, I wasn't really paying attention. It didn't do much though. But obviously I'm way over leveled as well, so if you do come here at the normal level, I could see you having a slight bit of problems. Uh, not, not too much though, I mean, nothing's too difficult. Oh, I, I didn't even pay attention, there's a Geodude which... It's actually a terrible idea to have Pidgeotto 4, so we're going to switch over to War Turtle, Just because Rock is weak to water, of course. I mean, I do have some strategic knowledge of this game. Uh, let's not use Bite, though. That would be silly. Uh, although, in future games, I believe Bite would be effective. Um, I don't remember. I, yeah, I know it's like a dark move later. But I don't know if it would be effective against ground or not, or rock or whatever. I don't know. Don't listen to me, I just ramble. <laughs> so, yeah, um, probably just gonna skip a few of these trainers, I'll show them. Uh, actually, I could probably just make it all the way through this place. And just come fight the trainers in the next battle, or the next video. And so this this might be a little bit longer episode than I generally am probably going to make. I know the last episode, or maybe the one right before it, was sh uh, a little long as well. But we'll see. I mean, unfortunately, not a whole lot of story takes place um, in this game in general. So a lot of the content is just this, uh, trainer battles, 
Um, so that's why I don't really want to cut the battles, because you pretty much just miss out on the whole game if I'm not showing you level grinding or the trainer battles. Um, I mean, you would just see, like, gym leaders and traveling from one city to the other, which I guess could be fun, but... I mean, if you came to watch an RPG, you're probably looking for some of the RPG elements to be shown. <laughs> I would just assume. I don't know. Maybe you hate it. You can let me know if... I mean, I'll probably be done with most of this, if not all of this game, before people start watching these videos anyways. But again, if you do happen to start watching before I'm done, or before, you know, too long, and let me know your input. I'm I'm generally curious. I did it again. Why would I let you attack Geo, dude? But yeah, I'm I'm generally curious. I mean, I don't expect me to get super popular. I'm not that funny. I'm not that interesting, and I'm definitely not that intelligent when it comes to the game itself. I mean, it, if you haven't noticed, uh, I don't do anything spectacular. I don't know a lot of things, but I do. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't expect to get too popular. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. But if I do get some people that like to watch, uh, that's enough for me, and I do want to... Uh, shit. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do want your input, and I, I appreciate it. So let me know if you don't like anything I do, if you do like anything I do, or if you think I should do something else, or anything like that. So this guy has quite a few Pokemon. I might, I might end it right here at this one. Actually, I know what I'll do, because there are there are quite a few more trainers. I don't know how many of them are actually skippable, but uh, what I'm going to do before I end this is I'm going to finish defeating this trainer, and I'm going to beat the next trainer. And he's hiding an item behind him, and I will grab that item, and that's where we'll call it quits for today. Or maybe not today. I've, I've been recording quite a lot today, so I might even do a little more. But you know what I mean. Uh, we'll be done for this episode, this, this little chunk. So we'll walk over here. Oh, no. Oh, okay, there we go. So yeah, if you pull him out, you will... Uh, have the chance to go around behind him and grab this item which you can't get um, if you don't pull him out you can't get it for a while until after we have cut so I mean it's not really important you'll see what it is in a moment but I mean if you're if you're interested obviously this is what you want to do alright Pidgeotto level 27 working it and he's got an Ekans. And we'll just take that out real quick. Unfortunately, um, Pidgeotto doesn't have too many good moves yet. But he does learn some pretty decent ones later. I mean, Gust he's had since the beginning. So. But he does fine. But yeah, if you come back here. Uh, like I said, if you don't pull him forward. You have to wait until you get cut to cut down this tree to come back here. But it has TM-19. And TM-19 is... Seismic Toss. Which, for fighting Pokemon, is a decent move, from what I remember. But it's not great. Um, but yeah, when we come back, uh, there's... Okay, there's only one more mandatory uh, trainer. But I am still going to leave it off for here, for now. Uh, we'll come back, I'll capture the uh, Abra and whatever else is over there. Uh, I'll fight the optional trainers, and then we'll resume here to take on this lovely looking trainer ahead of us. And then go on to Bill, and then whatever else lies in our future. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and...